In three different interviews in the days following the shooting, Daniel Willis tried to recall every movement he and Yvette Smith made, no matter how slight. When she came out, when she backed up, she was at a slight angle. When she was pointing, she was almost square to me. Willis said Smith stood in the doorway looking around. He was hidden behind a vehicle, and as his partner shouted commands, he saw something in Smith's hand. He screamed, come out now. And that's, yeah, that's when she did the weird movement thing and saw whatever was in her hands. So I figured I needed to get around just in case it was something. The evidence so far indicates Smith was not armed when she came to the door, but also Willis was receiving information from dispatchers that someone inside that home was loading a gun. She pointed, then I moved and engaged. Two shots, one that grazed the left flank of Smith, did little damage according to the autopsy, but the other entered her abdomen, causing fatal injuries, even if Willis didn't know it at the time. I thought she'd been paralyzed. I don't know. There was no movement, and she was really, really relaxed. There was no tension. There was no nothing, and she was breathing normally out of the top of her lungs. The jury will have to answer if it was reasonable for a peace officer to fire those two shots. The answer could separate peace officer from murder. In Bastrop, Chris Sadegui, KXAN News.